Hello, my name is Gary Bebo, the Sales Director for Discount Security Cameras. Today we're going to talk about the various types of security cameras that are available to you. And in the later part of this series, we're going to talk about your digital video recorders and the wiring of your system to integrate it all together. All right, what we're going to start with right now is C-mount cameras, as you can see here to my left. The C-mount camera was the only style of camera available back in the day. These cameras were completely modular, so you had your C-mount or your box here. Then you had your lens. You could get these in fixed or variable focal, meaning you could set the zoom and the focus. And they were indoor only. If you wanted to place these outdoor and still to this day place them outdoor, you need to install them in a security camera housing. Next on the list, we moved into the bullet cameras. Bullet cameras are a weatherproof camera, but they work great both indoor and outdoor. These cameras can be mounted to a ceiling or, with the adjustment of the bracket, can even be mounted to the wall. These cameras have really advanced over the years, and they now come with variable focal lenses as well, as well as infrared night vision for you to see in dark areas or at nighttime. As we move down the list here, we get into our dome camera series. Your dome cameras come in multiple, multiple models, a lot of variations. You could get them in infrared night vision, you get them in fixed lens, you could get them in variable focal lens. And here's just a few that, that we pulled out to show you guys today, just so you have an understanding of the size and the differences between them. Here we have one of our most popular, this is called the ball and turret style dome, or better known as the eyeball or eye and socket dome. These domes are a three-axis dome, meaning you can mount it to a wall or a ceiling, as opposed to a two-axis dome like this one that's strictly ceiling mount. It's basically a limitation of the bracket inside the dome. These armor domes here can be mounted indoor or outdoor, like I said, to a wall or ceiling, so it makes for a real easy installation no matter where you go. Right here, you get into your armor domes. These are pretty heavy. They weigh three to four pounds. They have a metal housing and a polycarbonate shell that will withstand a 10-pound sledgehammer blast. If you're putting these in a school or a corporate environment where vandals may be an issue, the armor dome's the way to go. Now what we're going to do is bring you into the larger bullet cameras with a little more infrared or night vision range. These cameras actually have a tuned IR that works kind of like a flashlight. Your IR can be available anything from a flood to really a spotlight, so it's important to get the right lens when you're looking at a camera. This camera here, the factory does all the work for you. You have your infrared LEDs here, and then your lens right here in the center. What happens is, during the day, this camera is going to stay color, but at night, or when the lights turn off, these infrared LEDs are going to turn on, and the camera sees it as natural light. Because the camera has a photo sensor, the LEDs do not run all the time, so they're only running as needed. When you get into the larger cameras like this, this is a variable focus infrared bullet camera. As you can see here, we're demonstrating the camera mounted to a ceiling, but this bracket can also adjust backwards to mount to a wall. This also has the infrared LEDs, and it has the lens right here in the center. Now these LEDs have a mixture of a flood as well as a spot. That way if you zoom the camera for a wide angle, you have infrared to cover the wide angle. If you zoom it in and focus it for distance, your infrared light is projecting out there as well for you to get the detail that's needed. Now here we get into our largest infrared bullet camera. This camera here has a 5 to 50 millimeter lens. This camera will do anything from a wide view to get a wide shot of a parking lot, or you could actually zoom in up to 200 feet away. Uh, if you're looking for facial detail, maybe 125, 150 feet tops. And remember, the more you zoom your lens in, the tighter your angle of view becomes. So please take that in mind when choosing a camera. Down here, we get into some of the most expensive cameras on the market called PTZ. PTZ stands for Pan Tilt Zoom. These cameras actually have a motor control built into the housing here. This camera will spin 360 degrees, will pan left to right, and also move up and down. 
The module inside will also allow you to zoom in and zoom out. Each PTZ is different, so make sure you take a look at your lens module to see how far you could actually zoom out. The great thing about pan tilt zoom cameras is you could install them and then control them using your digital video recorder, whether it be locally or remotely, maybe using your smartphone like an iPhone or the new droids from Verizon. Okay, now that we've covered all the variable types of security cameras, you're ready for part two and part three of our series, which will help you pick out your digital video recorder and also select the right wiring for each run.